loaded up the web browser so you can see what it looks like. This is the mobile view of mobileburn.com. But let's switch over to the full site so you can see what a regular website looks like. We're on a relatively slow 3G connection right here. I do not have LTE coverage at the moment. So we've only got a couple of bars of uh, 3G. You can see um, you can enable the flash plugins there. Though it does have a problem with the YouTube embed right there for some reason. I'm not sure why. In any case, double tap intelligent zooming. You can also use multi-touch gestures. Smoothing scroll and scrolling is uh, quite speedy. Everything seems to move pretty well. Tracks the finger nicely. Hit the menu button here. We can see things like you know adding bookmarks. Get to the bookmark manager. Nice thumbnail view of all the bookmarks. There's probably options for list mode or uh, yeah, here we go. Nice scrolling mode here. Probably won't work in portrait though, but you'll never know. Oh, there it does. Works pretty nicely. It's kind of cool. Here's the list view I was expecting. I'm going to go back and go into Windows support. You can run multiple windows. Pull one up from bookmarks, say the Verizon Wireless homepage. Good browsing experience. The large 4.3 inch display um, and the high quality super LCD. I mean it's not AMOLED but it's really clear. It has a very nice viewing angle and it's very bright and very crisp this uh, super LCD display. And you can see here we've got flash support. Um, frame rate's uh, kinda slow but still it's it's pretty workable. Here's a text messaging client. Just gonna pull up a message here and uh, reply to it. I'll reply to it here. Notice the autocorrect when I misspelled it and here. Double tap on the space to uh, get a period, full stop, whatever you want to call it. Easy to um, embed things to it. Change it to an MMS. Let's just uh, grab one of these photos here. And it's going to shrink it down so it fits. And I'm going to send that off. Now we just send an MMS message. And you can see you get the little icons or the avatar for each of the contacts. Of course, you have access to a landscape mode QWERTY keyboard as well. I like this quite a bit. This is HTC's calendar application. We're in the month view. Uh, I prefer the agenda view. And you can have multiple calendars in here um, from Gmail, Exchange, anything you want, really. Week view and daily view as well. Daily view shows weather, which is pretty neat. And speaking of weather, I've got the weather widget here tied into my current location. So it uses the uh, Google location services or the GPS to determine where I am and show my current weather. You can see nice partly sunny 79 degrees. Swipe up and down to switch between locations. New York, New York's already configured here. And you get a couple of days of a forecast as well. I'm going to show you a demo so you can see what some of the weather effects look like. Uh, intermittent clouds, showers, the wiper blade and the streaking is kind of cool. Snow, intermittent clouds at night, windy, it's pretty cool. Ten of them in total. And there's the last one. Quick look at the Android market. This is the updated market, so we have a couple of new features for scrolling through things. 
It's a Verizon tab as well for Verizon hand-picked applications. Of course, a lot of them are being their own. Bing is in there as well. Works in landscape and portrait mode and uh, has nice categories and everything. It's uh, pretty easy to use. And you just pick something here. Let's say top free and I'll install something so you can see it. Put in Craigslist notification. Accept the permissions and then it installs. And we should see a notification come across the top there as it's downloading it. Now it's installed and we just tap there and run it right away. And since I didn't really want that app, I just pulled up the app tray, the main menu here, show you how I can remove an application. Just do that right from the menu and there's Craigslist notification and I'm going to uninstall it. It's not quite as pretty as what LG and Samsung are offering, you know, the kind of the Apple iPhone style, just tap on the X to uninstall it, but still pretty quick access. Here is the non-Gmail email client. You can use this with Exchange, IMAP, POP accounts, a lot of things like that. Let's see if I can find something a little more interesting. Something with some formatted text so you can see it works here. Unlike Gmail, this one seems to support multi-touch zooming. Reflows the text, which is nice. Quickly move between messages as well. We've got Peep right here. That's HTC's Twitter client. This is my personal Twitter account loaded up. Very standard looking. You know, easy to get mentions, direct messages, uh, favorites, things like that. And while on the subject of messaging, let's pull up the mobile IM system. You see there's built-in support for Windows Live Messenger, Yahoo, and AIM as well. Let's take a look at some of the rest of the items in the main menu. You see we've got uh, some game demos and stuff. Let's Golf 2, Rock Band's there, Quick Office for uh, opening Word documents, Rhapsody Music Service, uh, Vcast apps, you know, VZ Navigator as well. You've got the built-in Google Maps navigation, so you don't really need VZ Navigator, but VZ Navigator is a pretty nice app. YouTube client as well. A lot of good stuff in here. Uh, a lot of stuff, though, so I probably can't uninstall most of it, like, you know, ToonWiki or Slacker or things like that. If you don't use it, you're just kind of stuck with it there. But overall, nice assortment of applications preloaded. Oh, and the ever-popular flashlight application. Making use of the flash on the back for the different brightness levels. So that's my quick look at the HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon Wireless. It's uh, got really nice hardware, good design, good use of materials and uh, functionality like you know the kickstand with a speaker underneath it, dual LED flash on what appears to be a pretty good 8 megapixel camera with uh, HD video recording. It's the first 4G LTE smartphone on Verizon. Haven't been able to test those speeds yet. Uh, LTE is not available in this particular neighborhood where I am in Florida. But we're going to send this back north to do some testing. Preliminary tests from other people have reported um, well beyond the 5 to 12 megabits per second download speeds for Verizon as promised. So we're looking forward to that. The device will be available March 17th for $249.99. And again, that's the HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon Wireless. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.